Right, so this is game mode um, thingy. I, I didn't get the full name. Man, you know, I'm gonna give up on my phone soon. I don't know how to, how do you, how do you lo go into it? You know, I wish there was a simple way of doing this. Like, I feel like it's just a war now. Like, how do you do it? How do you? You see, I think the thing is, I don't know how to get this the way I want it. You understand? So it's it's doing its own thing. It's it's like I want it. To, I don't want it to zoom inwards. I want it to kind of zoom out, and I want it to be clear. It just won't do what I want it to do. And then when you try <laughs> to get it the way you want it, it starts to fall on me. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave like that. What's more important is information that I'm talking about. Right, so it says activate game mode when launching games from my games. Activate game mode when launching games from uh, the file explorer. Deactivate game mode when the game is closed. It says close uh, file explorer to free up more system resources. Add games launched from the apps context menu to my games. It says game cover at size large. I want it to be small. And then it says game information website game uh, something if whatever. It says enable my games hotkey control shift M. So it's, it's short keys. So scan desktop for game shortcuts. Scan the start menu for game shortcuts. Scan the program files directory to install games. Uh, scan the pinned apps directory for game shortcuts. Scan Windows Game Explorer for installed games. And then it says directory uh, to scan for games. Okay, so I'm wondering if I can add them. Right, so it seems like I can add them. All right, where's the C drive? Let's see. It says this PC. I know my C drive, I got nothing. All my games are in the D, D drive. So I'm gonna click on D and then look for them. Epic Games, let's see. Any games in here? Nope. Oh, Fortnite. Fortnite is there. So I've added Fortnite. Then I've got Epic Games, the actual Epic Games. Let's see, what else is there? Okay, so it's got that one. I, I, um, I'm gonna go to Epic Games. There's City Skylines, Fortnite, and Valorant. So I'm gonna add Epic Games. Uh, let's see, what else? Besides that one, yeah, Riot, Riot Vanguard, I think that is uh, just going to be Valorant as well. Because that does come from uh, Epic, I think. Rockstar Games. Even though I don't have GTA, I don't have GTA on the system. Uh, Steam, I know Steam doesn't have any games in it. But I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to add Steam. Right, next I'm gonna add, uh, I think it's Steam Library, because this is the majority of all the games I've got installed. Right, I'm gonna add Steam Library. I'm also gonna add Steam Apps. Right, Steam Library. I think I should just go to the common, isn't it? I'm gonna add Steam Apps. Then I'm gonna add common. It's in directories. Just in case it skips on all of those, it, you know, it's like a path, isn't it? So it'll find all the games I've got. Ubisoft. I don't think I've got any games in Ubisoft. I mean, Watch Dogs is uh, from Ubisoft, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, Warface. Warface. I mean, that's the last one. I, I don't have any more other apart from that. And uh, going to E. I know E's got nothing. No games in E. And uh, I mean, E is the micro SD card. There's nothing there. And that's it. Wait, I I'm wondering about Xbox because Xbox is in um, the C drive. But uh, I mean, I haven't put any games as yet. Gonna go to project program files. I know there's no games in there. But I'm just checking, you know, I'm just looking. It says Epic Games. But I know there's no games in here from Epic Games. I think it's just, this is what it does. It will always save uh, one of its files in here, despite the fact of not having any games in the C drive. 
I mean, I haven't saved any games there. Yes, this one, the Xbox one. That's the one I want to add. Because I know if you add Xbox games, they're all going to go to C drive. You can't avoid it, you know. It'll always force its way to the C drive. So that's why I'm just, that's why I wanted to put uh, Xbox. I thought it would have something for Microsoft. But my mind is like, no, this is looking for games. So let's, let's stick to games. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's all I've got. Right, then apply. And then okay. And uh, let's see, what else do I do? How do I scan for the games now? Okay, so it says Microsoft Store, Steam, Ubisoft, Epic Games, Web, Other. Right, so how do I then scan? How do I scan for the games? Refresh games, clear games, catch settings. Okay. It says live optimization. Optimize apps and uh, game apps and games performance in real time, but these are all pro uh, pro uh, from the pro version, which I don't have. Uh, de deprioritize unnecessary apps and processes. Optimize apps uh, memory usage. Enable live optimization lock. Notifications. This is all pro stuff. I mean, it wants you to buy the pro version before I use it, so it's cool. I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it at some point. I can't do it now. Okay, so how do I scan for games? Check for updates. Uh, start free trial. Upgrade now. Register. Blah, 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 blah. Search for games. All right. So you just click on search for games. No, it's it's automatically looking for games, but I had to give it, uh, you see, it's found Fortnite, Fortnite, Overwatch, Watch Dogs. All right, cool. So it's added those games in here. Fortnite, Overwatch, Watch Dogs. It's cool. I don't mind. Uh, let me put this away. Right. So, like I said, I am at the moment. I'm just going through the um, the apps. The the apps are like programs, isn't it? Because they changed the name. They used to call these programs. They now call it apps. Um, I'm, I'm, I just want to see the stuff that I had installed. So this, what I'm using now is called Games Fire. Game Fire. Uh, G A M E. F I R E from uh, Microsoft Store. It's free to download. So if you're interested in it, you can download it for free from Microsoft Store. You you don't have to pay for it. It's free. GeForce now I'm gonna use it, but like I said, once I start using, I can't use my my laptop. This says GPU overclocking, but I'm sure this is gonna say it doesn't support my system. Say it says the machine is not supported. Right, so I know what you guys are thinking. Why are you installing things that don't work? One, I didn't know if it was working or not. Two, uh, most of these apps, these apps that I've got are from Microsoft Store. So, you know, in the store, you don't know what you're going to get. You understand? This is some GPU stuff. Uh, I know the screen's a bit bright. <sighs> okay, let me minimize this a bit. All right. Uh oh, it's kind of shrunk it down a bit. Right, so, okay, okay, so let me hide that part because it's a bit bright, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to tell you guys what it's actually saying on the screen while I try to darken the screen. Sorry about that. But like I said, if I touch this tripod, it's gonna, the phone's just going to drop. It's like the phone doesn't want to do what I want it to do today. It's a pity, I mean, and the other thing is, I don't know if I can put my fingers through the gaps. Yeah, right. So I'm going to try my best to shrink this screen down a bit or bring it in more. But you see, then it lights up, which is the problem. So what I'm going to try to do is to try to dim it. Sorry about the brightness. It's just I'm trying to dim this thing down. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hate it when he does that, man. When you finally get it to to take a, a good video, it wants to fall down, right? I'll read what it says. It says GPU mount monitor options reset values, add on for showing GPU temperatures, GPU list, parameter Nvidia G, GeForce RTX uh, 3080 Ti. Then it says GPU uh, clock, GPU core, memory shader, temperatures, core load, core frame buffer, video A engine, bus interface. Memory, memory, memory free used total. So I'm wondering, okay, so I have to click on it. 
Oh, this is so interesting. But the screen is going to get bright again. That's the problem. So I don't know if I take it out. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys what this is actually saying. It looks like it's a graph of some kind. So the GPU core clock is 1590. The memory is 8001. That's quite a lot, but how come <laughs> this is what I don't get. If 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 it's got all that memory, how come it doesn't do use it? It doesn't use it in the game. So it says GPU memory free, uh, 15,267 megabytes. Memory used, uh, let's see, 1,117. Uh, GPU memory total, 16,380, uh, no, 16,384. Okay, so I, I'm just wondering, what's, what's this all about? It's showing me all this stuff, but what, what can I do with it? It says purchase add-on in Microsoft Store. Okay, showing GPU temperatures. But what am I supposed to do this with this thing? Okay, you know, you know, I think I think it's like a monitor for the graphics card. Okay, so I'm going to quickly put it on the screen and then take it off. Right, so it moni it's gonna monitor the graphics card. Uh, I think it gives you information about the temperatures. Uh, I don't know, man. That's what it says. There's another one if you want. Uh, this one's called Acer Control Center. It will show you all the information about your laptop or your Steam Deck, whatever you're using. It gives you all the information about your... Um, it's like Spexy. Uh, S-P-E-C-C-Y. You can download that for free. It's the same thing. Uh, but this one is called Acer Control Panel. You can get... Uh, sorry, Acer Control Center. You can get this directly from Microsoft Store for free. Right, so I want to see this. Okay. Before I use Nvidia, like I said, if I use Nvidia now, it's it's gonna, it's 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 really going to, like, I don't know what to say. It it's. So this is Java. I downloaded Java, but I don't I don't even know what Java does. Like, what does it do? What do you do with Java? I just I had it on my. You know, today I was just look. I was looking at a lot of things today, and I I, I didn't know what I was doing much. You know, app settings. You know, you can actually go into your settings now for your apps. I didn't know that. Or oh, maps. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pin that. Then it says media player. I'm gonna pin this as well. Then it says office. Uh, 365. Obviously, I use that on my phone. Microsoft Clip Champ. I don't know what this does. I'm thinking that's like video stuff, right? Microsoft Store. And okay, so it's just showing me the recent stuff that I installed. Um, right, so I'm going to be removing apps that I don't actually use. It says MSI App Player 5. I don't even know what this stuff does. MSI Center. MSI Drive and App Center. Uh, MSI help desk. I'm pretty sure. I think I downloaded this from Microsoft. But like I said, I, I don't know what they do. MSI True Color, that's what is uh, I'm trying to use to actually fix up my screen. That doesn't do much for the screen. It's crazy. Right? Nahimic, this is actually a program that helps me with the sound. Um, it can also help you with surround sound. You know, if you like using surround sound. It says Norton 360 for games. I don't understand this thing. What is this? Is this like, um, you know one thing? I'm not going to touch it. it. says turn off game optimization. Disable auto protect. Disable smart uh, firewall. Run live update. Run quick scan. Turn on silent mode. View recent history. Get support settings. Uh, open my notes. So this, this is going to be something to do mostly with, um, it's a firewall, isn't it? The notepad, of course, I use notepad everywhere. Uh, control panel. Um, like I said, I, at the moment, I'm just going through things. Omen Gaming Hub, like I told you guys, you can download that for free from Microsoft Store. It does exactly the same thing as Razer Cortex, except when you use it, the boosting thing uh, on Omen, it doesn't shut down third-party applications. So I like using Omen. My Omen runs every night to boost up my laptop. 
and my Steam Deck as well. I got it on the Steam Deck. Omen Gaming Hub is free to download from Microsoft Store. If you don't know what it is, it's um, it's a program. I know it's called Omen, but it will run on any laptop. Even in the Steam Deck, it's not Omen. Isn't it? It's Valve. So what it does, it um, collects all your games. You can scan all your games. It will optimize your games. It's got Task Manager. Shows your network strength. Yeah. So if you've got problems with your, your, with your internet, it will actually show you your... your um, it's got a chart. It shows you your uh, Wi-Fi broadband stuff, right? Um, next, uh, what can you do? Um, it'll boost. It'll boost your laptop Steam Deck. Uh, boosting means it shuts down programs in the background. Similar to what? Um, well, I, I don't know. There's so many things you can download. You can download CC Cleaner if you want. If you're not interested in it, it's cool. I'm just saying it's it's just. I think it's something interesting to have. I mean, I've, I've used it on my Steam Deck for a long time, for two years now. I've used that system for two years and I'm happy with it. So whenever I, I you know, whenever I run into people, I do tell them about it. I say, oh, why don't you download this? They'll be like, what's that program? What does it do? I do optimize your games to make your system run better. You know, also optimize your, um, your laptop or your Steam Deck every night while you sleep. And optimizing just means that it's uh, shutting down um, like it's freeing up RAM memory on your Steam Deck, so I use I use it a lot on Steam Deck. But I'm I'm saying like if you have a different program that you use and you're happy with that program, no problem. You can use the program you use. Oh my God, I don't run Rivers. <laughs> I got carried away. I got carried away. Where was I? I think I was on R. Right? I don't want to go through all this stuff again. River Turner. A uh, River Turner is what you use with MSI Afterburner. Uh, that's the one that gives you the clock. You see, I've got a clock up there. So this is what gives you that clock. But I don't want to run it right now. I don't know what the samples thing is. Right, I'm almost done. And then I'm going to go back to GeForce now. Like I said, when the benchmark starts, I won't be able to do anything on my laptop while it's benchmarking my laptop. And uh, the reason for that is because it needs to see how, you know, how it can uh, push your... You know what thing? I want to open up the River Turner thing because I'm curious. I mean, I've got it installed, yes? It might as well, I might as well just have it in the background, isn't it? It helps, it helps with your FPS. It, it'll show you FPS counter and all that stuff. Where's this thing? It's weird. It, it just appears there. It doesn't do anything else. It shows show on screen display. Let me click that off. Now, nah, let me leave it on. It says uh, application detection level uh, low. Okay. On screen display support on. It's got vector 3D and raster 3D. This is just the way your FPS counter will look. If you want it to have a shadow, you know. If you don't want shadows, then you just remove it. Viewport and frame buffer. I, I don't know the difference. It says on screen display. On screen display, I just, okay, I'm going to turn that off. And then it says the color of the FPS, uh, show own statistics. You know one thing, I'm not going to be using this anyway. Uh, but I, I, it's interesting. I, I like to have it there. Sorry about the brightness of my screen, but this is how it is. Enable frame color indicator, color sequence. And then it says display maximum frame rate. Enable frame time history overlay, graph. And then it says start minimize high pre-created profiles. Uh, let's go to the bottom. It says check for available product beta versions. And then it says enable benchmark mode. And then use Microsoft uh, something something. So this can also uh, benchmark my laptop. Uh, user interface. Okay, so I mean I could change it to something else. But uh, I mean I'm, I'm happy with the way it is. So I'm gonna say fine, da, da 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 da, and I think when I close it, it should go into my tray. That's weird. It didn't go in the tray. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. It's it's I've got it there, right? I'm gonna go back to the apps. I'm almost done. Almost finished. Let's go. Let's see our settings. You know, with this, uh, I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> It says smart dis displays. What does smart displays do? Snipping tools. You know, have you ever wanted to take a picture of your screen? That's snipping tool. If you don't know what snipping tool is. 
If you see something on the internet, on a website, and you want to take a picture, just a picture of that one item, you use the snipping tool. And it will save it in your photos. You can also name the photo so you don't forget. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting to use. But I mean, I, I don't use it anyway. You know, I, I've never, I've never, I don't know why they keep putting solitaire on this thing. Specs is the other one I was talking about. This one will actually show you uh, what your laptop or your CPU uses, like what does it have. But I've noticed of late that it's not, it's not as good as it used to be, you know. It used to be very good. I mean, I used to use it a lot, but nowadays I don't. I'm wondering what smart displays is. Oh, my God. Okay, it says help us improve smart displays. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Fine, I, I agreed. <laughs> it doesn't want to show me what I want. Lenovo Universal Device Client Setup. Uh, identify displays. Detect displays. Didn't detect another one. Check something, something. So what does this do? That's all it does. It just tells you how many displays you got. You've got eyes. Why, why would you need that? I, I didn't get that. Seriously. All right. So I know I'm stalling. Let me put this away. I'm going to go back into apps. I'm going to go all the way down to R and see where, where we Aha, Steam. Ah, uh, so these are like games. Uh, nope, don't need that information. Halo Infinite and Steam. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it says still series GGG. I still don't know what that is, but I found out that it's something important uh, to do with my uh, laptop. It's super people are still on my thing. It can't be there. It's saying super people might be there. I'm like, no, it can't be. Because I, I, I removed the game. The game doesn't even work on my laptop. I mean, it doesn't work. It's, it's weird. I can play games like Call of Duty, but I can't play super people. I thought that's kind of dumb. Okay, it says tips translator. Uh, who knows? My uh, video editor. Right, so after the benchmarking, uh, what do I intend to do? After benchmarking, I intend to, I want to overclock my laptop. If I can't overclock it, then the only thing I can do after that would be, uh, well, I mean, my laptop does come with a Thunderbolt 4 port. I, I'm, I am interested in buying the, you know that thing, uh, the G1. Uh, the e e G P U thingy. Okay, I finished now. Let me let me jump into this. Uh, this is Game Fire. Is Game Fire running in the background? Oh, it is. It is. It's running in the background. Cool. Right. So these are G P U stuff. This is Spexy. This I have always been interested in it, but I simply don't understand how to use it. It's saying four thousand megabytes on Nvidia. But uh, yeah, you know, I've always wondered about that. How does it count that? But it gives you information about your, you know, your components on your laptop, like temperatures, you know? So it's telling me temperatures. For the CPU, it's saying, um, well, it's not showing anything, but it says graphics is 46 degrees Celsius, which is good. But another easier way of doing that would be, uh, what's Omen? If I find Omen. Okay, where's Omen? Did I miss it? I'm pretty sure I had it. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't find it now. This is weird. I can't see. Where's Omen? I'm looking for Omen. What the? Ah, that's so weird. Okay. For whatever reason, I can't actually find where Omen is. No, I, I just think that's weird. That's very strange. Because I did add it. I'm sure I did. You see, it's there. Anyway, I'm going to run it from here. Open. So what does Omen do? That's the one I was talking about. This is the one I like the most. It will boost your laptop Steam Deck. It will show you the games. It will, it's got deals as well for games. It will show you your network speed. Uh, it will optimize your games. Man, you, it does... Everything GeForce now does, this does. But this is free. You can just download it. And you don't need to have an NVIDIA GeForce uh, laptop. This thing will just do everything you want it to do. And that's why I like it so much. 
I mean, it's just good. I, you know, it's everyone has a preference. Some people they 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 like this. Some people they may not like it. But I, I'm just like, why wouldn't you like this? No, I mean, why wouldn't you like it? It's I think it's good. Wait, that's for overlays. Yeah, but this one, you see, this one for sure. I would have I would have known if it was this one. Okay, so look, the yellow color. I'm going to figure it out eventually. I'll, fig I'll figure it out. It says hot shift key. Hot key shift plus F2 for that one. Okay. So it, it can also show you FPS counter, which is good. Like I said, I've got a schedule in here. And um, I can... What's the schedule thingy? I want to see the scheduler. Oh, configure. No, I've done that already. I've done this one already. That's so weird. So it, it won't let me see the things. Oh, there it is. Um, every day at 12 o'clock. It says weekly, but it does it, um, you know, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Show notific notification. Uh, it will clean your RAM. It will boost. See the boost is already on. And quick setup. And there, um, utilization CPU, uh, GPU, uh, sorry, GPU, CPU, RAM. A storage a network and task manager is right here and if you want to see your games just click in up here and then if you want to scan it will scan and it will look for your games and it will tell you it will show you your games you know that's why i like this i, I promote this a lot to people and say if you don't have a gaming uh, hub this is the one to get it's called omen gaming hub o-m-e-n gaming g-a-m-i-n-g hub U uh sorry H U B Omen Gaming Hub. So you see? Uh it even tells me about uh Warzone 2 because obviously I've got them, but that's Call of Duty 2, uh, Call of Duty 3, Battle Bit Remastered, War Robots, uh PUBG Playgrounds, Warface Clutch, um War Robots Frontiers, Watch Dogs 2, Watch Dogs Legion, War Robots, Redout, and Farlight uh, 84. Right, so as I close it, it just, I mean, it's, 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 it's always there, it's running in the background. Right, so let's see, what else am I doing? So that's GPU monitor stuff. I uh, didn't even show up. Why isn't it showing? Okay. Right, uh, I'm going to run GeForce now. Why is it not coming up? Okay, GeForce now. Uh, let me just uh, I'm gonna create a restore uh, point I'm gonna create a restore point and then after that I will do the I'll do the benchmark 